What's going on guys? It's Kyle. Welcome to the Stock Goat YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be covering the overall market, specifically the fintech sector, and we're also going to be covering the SoFi stock. And I'm going to explain to you why SoFi is taking a lot of heat that has nothing to do with the company itself. We have companies like Affirm and also Robinhood putting out extremely weak guidance, and that is what is causing those stocks to absolutely collapse after those earnings. I'm going to show you guys what SoFi's absolutely bare minimum fair value is with the market capitalization the lowest price that sofi stock could absolutely fall to and i'm telling you right now at these levels we are at right now there is extreme upside the problem happening right now is there is a ton of shorting going on in sofi we all know that sofi was short at 15 percent just a couple of days ago and there's a lot of people selling that just don't know what they're holding and have no conviction on top of the fintech sector having terrible earnings. So it's just a combination of all of that happening. This is the time you want to be buying because the NASDAQ has corrected 18%. Fears are at all-time highs. Valuations are at all-time lows. And I'm telling you right now, these are still some of the fastest growing companies in the world. And a lot of these value stocks like you know Bank of America, JP Morgan, and also Intel are you know falling after their earnings because they have no growth whatsoever. So you need to have conviction and understand what you're buying. And I'm going to show you guys, you know, what SoFi's, you know, true value is at the bottom. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to smash the like button and be sure to drop a comment. Are you buying SoFi shares right now? What are some other stocks you're looking at? Let's get into the video. All right, guys, another day in paradise. We already know NASDAQ down, Russell down 2% and 1.5%. As you guys can see here, if we scroll down from the peak, the NASDAQ is corrected 17%. Uh, the absolute max was about 18%. The biggest correction, you know, five years ago in 2018 was about 22% correction. So guys, we are near all time lows for the NASDAQ right now. This is the time you want to be buying, you know, technology stocks. Absolutely incredible. The rate of speed that SoFi fell today down, you know, almost 10% at one point. It was actually up 2%, you know, pre-market, 10% uh, gone, you know, over a billion dollars of market cap wiped out. Uh, the market cap could have, you know, potentially hit 8 8.8, 8.9 billion at one point today. We are up a little bit in the after hours. Shorts could be covering a little bit. You know, the Robinhood news is getting absorbed. And guys, we are no way correlated to Robinhood at all. I've been explaining to people for months now that Robinhood will not be able to keep up with those 2020, you know, trading volumes. It's absolutely impossible with, you know, AMC and GameStop hitting, you know, a billion dollars in volume. That is why their earnings are so bad right now and their guidance for 2020. 22 still can't even keep up with the 2020 so it's taken them two years to potentially recover to get back to those trading volumes Robinhood shares tank 15% after it loses users and forecasts weak revenue Robinhood anticipates first quarter revenue of less than 340 million down 35% compared to 2021 Wall Street expected 448 million boom guys magical G word the same thing that happened with Lending Club last night guidance 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 Monthly active users fell to 17.3 million last quarter from 18.9 million in the third quarter. So Robinhood is losing users because of their business model. It's an options trading platform, and that's why people are you know leaving the platform because they're losing a lot of money. So Robinhood in no way has to do anything with SoFi. It's just fintech is correlated in a basket right now. You have Robinhood, you have a firm, you have SoFi, you have a lending club, and these are all in a basket right now. And I'm telling you right now, SoFi is the top tier out of all of those companies. And guys, I explained to you last night that Lending Club's fourth quarter earnings were extremely solid, you know, revenue growth, net income growth. It fell 30% today because they missed guidance, guys. They had a weak net income profitability guidance for Q1. The exact same thing happened with Robinhood, but Lending Club was not even that bad. It was off $5 million. So both of these companies are putting out weak guidance. And guys, I actually listened to the Lending Club earnings call for you because I want to give you guys as much detail as I possibly can. Lending Club added 100,000 users, you know, uh, the last quarter. So it's hard to find the details because they're not really pushing them. So they added 100,000 users, guys. SoFi added 377,000 users, almost four times as much than Lending Club, guys. 
And that was, you know, for Q3. There's no telling what we could see for Q4. I am hoping for anywhere from 400 to 500,000 users. I expect SoFi to put out amazing guidance for you guys into Q1. And we also just got the bank charter license. That's going to give us extreme guidance. So basically, SoFi's, you know, adjusted EBITDA was going from predictions of about 254 million now to 447 million dollars in 2022. Look at the guidance you're getting last year, guys. We're already a month out of, you know, 2022. We're getting about 42 million in EBITDA for 2021. That's literally 10xing this year. The SoFi stock is not correlating to where the business is going very soon, okay? You just got the bank charter license. The stock is selling off 10% in a couple of hours, okay? So guys, now that SoFi has completed the warrant redemption, after that warm redemption was completed, they have $2.5 billion in cash. And don't forget that convertible note offering that they did. It was good for the long term. This is going to help the company grow $1.1 billion. So guys, that's $3.6 billion in cash. And guys, I have a couple of accounts covering SoFi stock. And I want you guys to see I'm deep in the red too. As you guys can see, I have about, you know, 3,000 shares here. I bought for around $15.89. Thought that was a great price. Still think it's a great price. It's down 28%. I was doing pretty solid before today. I think it was down, you know, 18, 19%. I cannot believe the, you know, level of speed that the SoFi stock uh, dropped today. But guys, I'm telling you right now, these are amazing valuations to be buying at. The company literally hit 8 billion market cap. I just told you they have $3.6 billion in cash. So we'll just round it off. SoFi has $4 billion in cash, $8 billion in assets, minus $3 billion in liabilities. Offset assets will be $5 billion. SoFi owns Galileo. Galileo was valued at $1 billion in 2019. Uh, I believe right now it should be valued around $2 billion. It could be a lot higher, but we're just going to say $2 billion because of the growth. So cash, $4 billion. Galileo, $2 billion. Assets offset after liabilities, $5 billion. Guys, I will literally just not even count the assets into this valuation okay we'll just go with the cash galileo and the revenue that sofi is producing of 1.5 billion because we have insane growth 60 percent that's going to give you a 7.5 billion market cap cash galileo and revenue and with sofi having 800 million outstanding shares 7.6 7.5 billion market cap will put the price right around nine dollars and fifty cents i'm telling you right now guys this is like if the company was not growing at all like we're talking five to ten percent growth right now four billion in cash two billion galileo 1.5 billion in revenue this is literally the absolute lowest you know i think so if i could go of course you know there's a lot of shorts shorting the crap out of this stock 15 percent short interest we have to get to earnings because the earnings are going to have no correlation to Robinhood or Lending Club's business models at all. I believe we're going to see record revenue, record growth. And we also have the Super Bowl coming up. Users could be out of this world for Q1. We have to see. But understand, we're, you know, four times higher than Lending Club's users added to the platform. And, you know, Robinhood cannot keep up with the trading volumes from back in 2020. I believe we're going to beat our comps because we didn't even have our student loans, you know, throughout the entire 2021. If those come through the back end of, you know, 2022 plus a bank charter license, you're going to see absolutely insane growth, you know, comps year over year. We're going to be smoking consensus from these analysts once these earnings come out, guys. So you have to be patient and understand, I believe SoFi right now is significantly undervalued around $11 right now. I mean, if you take a look at Robinhood, they're about 9.7 billion market cap and SoFi right now is around 9 billion market cap. So, you know, Robinhood is still more expensive than us and they were actually a 70 dollars stock at one point so think about this guys if you think you're in some deep pain right now understand people investing in robinhood were purchasing robinhood at 70 60 50 40 30 20 pretty much everybody on this channel you know was buying sofi under 20 dollars so Think about how long it would take you to recover your losses buying at 70, 60, 50, 40 dollars. Okay. You have a great management team right now that has an extreme amount of cash, just got a bank charter license, just got, you know, Galileo, you know, two years ago, growing absolutely out of this world. The SoFi stock, you know, is not going to be one of those stocks that collapse to one to two dollars, you know, like, you know, a dozen other SPACs. Okay. There's going to be investors coming in, cleaning this uh, stock out at these levels very soon. We got to get to our, you know, earnings, of course, but I think, you know, SoFi is really oversold at these levels and you guys can see it, you know, they have a ton of assets right now, a ton of cash revenue growth is, you know, absolutely exploding. Great news. The biggest company in the world, Apple revenue pops 11%, 123 billion. Cook says supply chain issues improving. That should be good guidance coming in the future. I got to, you know, check out the earnings call or some of the guidance, but we know that, you know, Tesla had a decent earnings. 
Apple had a great earnings and also Microsoft had a great earnings. So those are the big companies out of the way. The economy is not collapsing. Those companies are still growing extremely fine. And I'm telling you right now, fintech will make a comeback but you know some of these fintech stocks are not having you know good company performance at all i believe sofi just needs a little bit more time we got to wait for the management team to put out great guidance and if you made it to the end of the video i want to say i really do appreciate it i enjoyed doing this video for you sofi is an amazing company as you can see management has put a lot of things in place getting a bank charter license took over a year signing the deal with galileo building up four billion dollar war chest pricing and no growth at all the lowest this stock should possibly be is like nine and a half dollars. That's with like a company with no growth at all. We were talking five, ten percent growth. This company is growing at you know sixty percent revenue growth, guys. So we should be at a much higher valuation. The price to sales right now is right around six times twenty twenty one revenue. These banks right now trade around four times sales. So guys. We're looking extremely solid. You should definitely average down at these levels. There's a lot of selling, a lot of fear because of this shorting. The fintech sector is being targeted, but we are at the top of this fintech sector because we are the one-stop shop digital platform disrupting the banking industry. 4,000 banks just closed last year. So have a little bit more confidence. I'm getting a lot of nasty comments, guys. Uh, a lot of people are saying this company's going bankrupt, penny stock. It's not happening, okay? You got to remain patient. This company is not going to get bought out. This management team was not built for a buyout, guys. You got to give this company time. More and more big whales will come in and purchase this stock at these low levels, and we will make our way up once again. Once again, my name is Kyle. Hope you have a great day.